world champions are back in action. Australia after lifting the trophy in India. And they're up against uh, the West Indies. It's Australia winning the toss and electing to bowl first. Tucked away. There's a fine leg, Adam Zampa on the chase, but the ball will win. Oh, got him! It's a beauty! His maiden one-day wicket, Xavier Barnett, has an impact in just his third ball. The forensics said not. Oh, oh he's pulled that. He's, he's pulled that away for six. It's right underneath it. A lovely upper punch. Away swinger. That is very, very skillful. Timing. Got right into that shot. Show hope. Tough summer sitting on the sidelines. Edge and another one. Violet's got three on debut and it's the big gun too. Hope departs. Xavier Bartlett, three for eight or 4.5 at the MCG on debut. Beautifully driven by Cardi. Just stood there and punched it straight down the ground. Lost it, up is and taken. Taken, Mackenzie Harvey is the substitute fielder. Cam Green gets in on the action. The aerial route taken by Hodge. He didn't get all of it. That is a lovely stroke from Carty. Take that, Matt Short. Thought he was in the game for a moment. There's a misfield. And will run away down to the rope. So a positive start to the over from Chase. Down. And he manages to sneak through. Does Casey Carty to bring up 50 at the MCG. He's kept things going for the West Indies with wickets falling around him early. What about it? Well, that's shot. whipped nicely. That's some shot from Carty. It was on the pads and it was just whippage over backward square for six. Whipped again. This is in the gap as well. This is positive from Carty. He's now moving after he brings up the 50. Quicker one. And Chase sees it on it. Away through mid wicket. Fine shot and a fine 50. His first one day international against Australia. Yeah. Oh, he's got him. He's not wicketless. Right on time. <laughs> right on cue. Adam Zampa. He picked a wicket. And the West Indies are five down. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Carty, cart Zampa over to the leg side. Just one bounce for straight as you like. That'll kick away for another four. Oh, it's a single, and he's got him. Oh no, that is terrible. And how is Hayden Walsh going to be feeling right now? And he's been absolutely sold. Twelve short. Oh, that's close. That's really close. He goes full green, and he's got him. She knocked it off the impact in line. Wickets hitting. Two quick strikes from Australia. High the outfield, settling underneath it. Oh, oh drop. Travis head. Going high. It sounded like a good strike, and it's going to get over the rope. A nice maximum there for Ford. It's a sounded hot. nice, but it's gone high and again settling underneath. This time it is taken Aaron Hardy with a different technique to that of Travis Head and he secures a wicket for Sean Abbott. He... Oh, that is punished. That is hit so hard. Keeps uh, it going from the boundary, but they... Oh, no, now, now there's trouble. Inglis. Oh, <laughs> In this end spell and it looks like he's going to get another one. Taken, secure, Manus, and all of a sudden Bartlett's got four. Oh, heaved in, and there's a chance, and that is a wonderful catch. Terrific finish. Sean Abbott, well done, gets his second. So 232 is the target for the world champions. And he plays it as if he's just coming in off the back of a century. Travis Head. Oh. And she gone! And head goes for four. Oh, he's got hold of that one. Just slots into position and slots it away for four. 
And again, lovely full face of the bat. Oh, it's gone down there again. Oh, dear. That is uh, a desperate bit of fielding. He goes up and under, out into the distance. One, two, three bounces into the rope. It's time to touch Fuller, and it goes back. Down the ground, past the bowler, back to bat boundaries. Oh, that sounded big. That sounded huge. It's the long boundary, and he's hit it 20 rows back, Inglis. Launches again into the wide open spaces on the leg side. It's going to be another boundary for Inglis. A little inside edge. 50 for Inglis off just 28 deliveries and he's really given the Australians a great springboard to take on this title. Lofted again. Be another boundary for Inglis. This is some display at the MCG. Yeah. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Catch is taken. But the bowler was that convinced he didn't bother to appeal and they have elected <laughs> to review. Just keep running it forward from here. Yeah, let's try off the thumb. So Inglis is fine. Enterprising knock comes to an end. Dances, slices. Man settles underneath, but it's too big. Rostin Chase is the man settled right on the boundary rope. Just... Whoa, he has got a hold of that. That's a big one from Cam Green. That's how you do it. Hold your shape. Perfect pickup length for the big man. As Cam Green decides to take on the spinner into the gap for four. Oh. Nicely guided, deft touch. He finds the gaps wherever they are, Steve Smith. That's swatted away, drops it short. And another four for Green. And that's 50 up for Cameron Green. Batting at three for the first time in one day cricket for his country. Oh, he plays it so well. There is a big wide gap there for Steve Smith. The twilight of their lies. 50 up for Steve Smith. Might just stop. No, it goes all the way for four. And that is Steve Smith's 33rd 50 in one day cricket. Oh, oh gee, that's just a genuine half tracker. And Green just stood there, couldn't believe it. And that's not something you typically see <laughs> in international cricket. And that should be for a beautiful way to finish it off by Stephen Smith. A big win by the Aussies. They do it by eight wickets with over 11 overs to spare. And that, in 50-over cricket, is a very, very dominant performance.